How far? Oh, it's right. It's right. It's right there. I doubt these guys are that bad. I always prefer to knock on the front door when entering a top secret fort or whatever this is. Aim for the leg. Mr. Handy Dominator. Headshot. <gasps> I can't even see who I'm shooting at. Don't worry, I won't. I'll cover you, sir. Uh, next time I get to a weapons bench, remind me to remove this giant, giant scope. I like I like the Rust Devil armor. That's creepy. Metal robot chess piece? Am I naked? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can get behind this. <laughs> That's so dumb. That's an armor workbench. Not quite what I need. Um Was there any more people? There's a dead one. Uh, lookout duty. With all these mechanic spots of loose, we can't afford to skimp on lookouts. For all we know, the bastards planning a raid to take us all our bots tomorrow. No lock draw. This doesn't mean you can't set three bots to patrol the area and take a nap. I want at least two living, breathing humans patrolling the perimeter at all times. Hmm. 
Oh, the I bought helm. Let me grab some, like, Lawn Johns. Wait, what was the other person wearing? Where's their body? Oh, they're also wearing Lawn Johns. Uh, uh Lawn Johns. Yeah. Fort Hagen Hangar. Oh god, one, one, one sec guys. Oh, excuse me. Dashboard. Okay, there we go. Oh, like, that's not conspicuous. Oh, is there more traps? I'm really bad at spotting traps. Like, really bad. Oh, God! Oh, God. Come on, his head should have just exploded. Ooh, road leathers. I'd rather... I'd rather wear road leathers. Um... Approach. Oh my god, I, I am just so sexy looking. Now. Out of my way, Ada. Got him. Christ, Ada. Is that you? Just give me a right leg. Oh, thank you.
This place is pretty big. I hate when places are big. That is a full set. <sighs> Don't mind if I do. How am I wearing that while also going into this? Bloop. <laughs> yeah, let me just delicately pick this lock with my giant robot armor hands. Whoops. <laughs> um, I think I looted everyone. I don't want to miss any, like, armor mod chances, you know? Ahab. Fucking jangles the moon monkey. That, that man's creepy. Oh, weapons! Remove this f fucking thing. I'll just scrap them. Fine with the reflex sight, yeah. Hey. Hold all of this. Ah, uh, there we go. I should line a little, little bit. addicted to something? Our systems are continuing to function at peak efficiency. Oh good, I was worried. Uh, this is some sort of like alter shit right here. Who stalks the innocent and destroys my robot allies. 
antagonist. I come to warn you of a new scourge who stalks the innocent and destroys my robot allies. Only seeks to save lives. This scourge cares nothing for the Aw, no schematics. We will find him and bring him to justice. All right, brain box. Ivy wants me to find out what makes you tick. So let's get started. There's no need for that. I'm certain we can discuss this rather unfortunate situation before it gets completely out of hand. Now, what exactly did this Ivy tell you to do? Simple. She wants me to crack open that dome you have for a head and find out how your brain is connected to your circuits. Perhaps I can be of assistance in that regard. After all, there isn't much else I can do. Now that you remove my head from its chassis, how about we forge some sort of an accord, just between the two of us? What the hell is an accord? You talking about wires or something? Right. I need to phrase this so even a dullard like you would understand. Let me put it this way. You need information that's going to make your boss happy. I want to keep my brain in one piece. Maybe we can cut a deal. Fine. Listening. I'll tell you everything I know about my own construction, all the bits that Ivy wants to hear, and I promise you, she won't be disappointed. In return, you keep those tools away from me and put me back onto my body. You get what you want, and I don't get dissected, like some kind of a laboratory experiment. Do we have a deal? Well. That would save me a lot of time. And Ivy doesn't like waiting. Tell you what, you start talking, and I'll stop drilling. After I tell Ivy everything, we'll see how happy she really gets. But I think I'm gonna leave your head in that machine for now. Just in case you decide to get any smart ideas. How's that for a deal? Okay, so that, that brain's pretty advanced. It's certainly free thinking. Oh, you cunt. Curious if I talk to Ahab here first. Oh God! What have I done? Jesus fucking Christ! Now, how can I put this as simple as possible? 
so someone at your processing speed can understand. Yeah. In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? Hmm. Trust the evil looking brain? How do I know you keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a bio gel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it. But one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Yeah, <laughs> looted her head. Watch the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today. Thank you. Be armed. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Rest Devil Gaming Terminal. Whoever reset the scores, I will find you, and I will have your head until one of you owns up to it. This terminal is off limits. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Okay, what's happening? I guess you're not supposed to shoot people. Ooh. No, I shot a person. Or did I? Oh, this is this is hard. <laughs> that was interesting. What? I can't play com uh, games in the middle of a. Well, that was the easiest lock pick ever. I wish I could, like, loot the stuff off of the tables and shit. You really are taking the path of most resistance here, aren't you?
spare parts, you be sure to let me know. Ivy's terminal. Aww. What do you mean I can't? Fucking power armor. Who is this mechanist? His bloody robots are everywhere. Every junkyard, every factory, even the robotics pioneer park. How are we supposed to find parts for our own bots with this lo loser cutting us off at the pass? <clears throat> It's not like we don't fight back, but jeez, we kill a group of his bots and ten more appear. Does this guy just pump them out of assembly line somewhere? Finding him is our top priority because what else are we going to do while he keeps getting in our way? We will find him, make a bot from his bones, and force it to take out our trash. <laughs> it's a routine scrapping mission. We're going to go in, take the four protector on bots, and get out. No big deal. Yeah, recon location warned us of the death clone area, whatever. With our bots, a death cloud might as well be a mole rat. No big, we've even managed to sneak in and get to the bots without making waking the monster. Well, as we were trying to get to the bots out there, a horde of mechanist bots showed up and started fighting us to get our loot. Because the universe has a six sense of humor, this woke up the death cloud, so then we had to deal with that too. <laughs> in short, we lost three men, two of our bots were pulverized, but we did manage to nab one of the mechanist robo brains alive. I'm hoping this will lead to the bastard that keeps messing with our shit. <laughs> the death cloud that killed my men? I stuck his skull on a bot. Not just any bot, but the ultimate death bot. Ahab will be by my side when I find the mechanist and get revenge for what he did to the rest devils. I just hope we don't pulverize his bones in the process. I want to use that to make something fun. What was that? Ivy then? That couldn't have been Ivy. It wasn't even like a named mob or anything. That's... Am I really shooting the chain in front of me? Resistance is futile. Especially when I'm in, like in an X one, this, this this fight hardly seems fair. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. Ooh, hey, right leg. There we go. There's not much laying around. I was kind of hoping you'd be able to get parts, like, just, you know, sitting around, but. Apparently that's wrong. Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. She's saying to try harder. Bitch needs to learn the plates. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. Scanning. Oh, 
Oh, this. You look fun. Oh god. Oh, thank god. It was charging up. <laughs> What is this? I want it all. What does that use? Hey, Tinker. Semi automatic barrel. Oh, my God. I'll have to mod that when I get back to the red rocket there. Yeah, might as well take armor. Just we take as much as we can carry. Atta girl, Ada. My kind of woman. Take as much as you can... Wait. I can wield an Assaultron head. I feel like Ada wouldn't appreciate that if I'm wielding her... You know. That'd just be weird. To be the fat man behind the blue eyes. Mop plastic spoon. I wonder how much DLC is left. Probably a decent amount, right? Thank Gotta... goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. Sure, go ahead and take a look. She's so nice. And she can carry just so much stuff. Like a lot of stuff. Heads up. Yeah. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. 
Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, Robo-Brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about them, Amy? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit... Shall we say, unhinged? Hopefully, this particular robo brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. You gonna be streaming later? Yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow too. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. <laughs> Why would you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. Aww. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility, and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Build Jezebel a body. The story aspect of DC is actually pretty short. The main functionality, however, is the crafting station, which makes settlement management significantly easier to deal with. I mean, you know, uh, f feel free to to elaborate more on that. How does it make settlement management easier to deal with? Because there's like, can can you like send robots to guard each settlement, or because that'd be cool. Oh, Mimi, Mnemo meme, M Mimi, mom. Nem? Any any variation? Mimi? Mom? Nem? Any any variation? <laughs> 